think it was a trend for some time uh, with uh, bumps and, and lows. Uh, I think it's really now established as a trend, essentially because uh, I think the whole industry uh, and, and finance uh, have established that the risk is now systemic, uh, which means it is affecting uh, financial stability and the opportunity for everybody. I think now everybody agrees that it's a systemic risk where uh, every stakeholder has a contribution and uh, a risk to manage. Actually, uh, on, on the trend setting, I think the second element of the uh, systemic risk is actually that the regulators are not acting stronger and stronger on the topic, providing for directions, even if it's in principle for now, but establishing a taxonomy, so a common language to enable comparison and a better management of the issue. Um, it is determining how data will help. Uh, I would argue the starting point is about data and quoting other uh, scientists, what you cannot measure, you cannot manage. Uh, data is really a starting point. So establishing a good framework for data to enable comparison from one building to the next, from one situation to the next, is absolutely key. Um, the second layer of that will be that data will need to be normalized and established so that the framework is comparable across the globe and that will, in my view, develop uh, labels to establish this kind of uh, reliability. Essentially, we, uh, we are increasing uh, training and external support with consultants is a big topic um, and we, we, we need essentially to rely on external consultants who are really specialists of the, of the field and we have engaged with um, several of them to help us monitor regulations uh, and check our buildings. Uh, the, the topic has evolved from a nice to have uh, to a good to have, almost a must have, and is now almost a compliance topic because of the regulations being published with, with more and more focus.